Hey everyone, do you want to learn how to make high converting videos for Facebook ads in 2019 step by step? Let's go. Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Ricky Hayes. Today we're going into easily make high converting videos for Facebook ads in 2019 if you haven't already subscribe to my channel hit the like button comment crush it down below to go in the chance to win a 30 minute call with myself announced in the next video today's winner is announced at the end of the video so make sure to get all this value watch to the end and see if you're the winner as well as in the description below let's get straight into it anyway i should also add i do have a bit of a cold so i do apologize so there's a few housekeeping rules that we need firstly. I personally use Camtasia. I know there's a lot of them out there for my video editing as I find it the easiest to make higher quality videos, the quickest and easiest. For thumbnails, pardon me, thumbnails I use Canva.com, okay? Uh, Canva.com for thumbnails. If you are interested in something like that, um, just comment down below. If you can't afford Camtasia, I personally paid $300 for it, it was on sale and that's in US as well. Uh, then I recommend using Filmora, Windows Movie Maker, iMovie, I believe it's called, Animoto, that's a web-based subscription model. I hear that's very good. And there's probably some free other ones, but I don't personally know them. However, if you are a really good uh, uh, video editor, graphic designer, whatever, then I, uh, I imagine that Adobe Premiere CC, Creative Cloud, is the best option. But it has the highest skill cap, but it really does, um, really does allow you to do a lot more from what I've seen. But I, I just use Camtasia. Uh, to download videos, whether it's off YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, AliExpress even, all of that. I use uh, JDownloader, okay? It's 100% free. Just go to jdownloader.org. Um, it's a fantastic app. That in fact, you, I use it for a wide variety of things, not just downloading uh, videos. But it's extremely, extremely useful um, app. So use that app to download your videos. Um, it also um, downloads thumbnails of that of the video too, which is really cool. So it downloads the thumbnail of the video, especially if you're getting it off YouTube. It's really handy. Um, so it's important that you use royalty-free music as well. Um, I would not recommend using actual known music from famous artists. Um, use the Facebook. Facebook have uh, free music as well as YouTube. They've got to create a studio here. Um, you, you can download these as you see fit. You can choose the genre, dramatic, you know, inspirational. Try and pair it with the type of product. Okay, so um, if it's if it's a baby product, let's say. Okay, you'll probably want to choose something, I don't know, like in a happy sense, okay? And, and that's up to you. If you don't want to use that, you can use YouTube audio. Okay, it also has a very similar thing. This has been recently updated from Facebook, um, so it's very good. So I would recommend uh, using either, whichever you prefer. Okay, so those are the things you need to get started. Secondly, um, we need to discuss what makes a high converting video before we make one. All right, and so um, I've found that now it's mainly just the creative, okay? Um, everyone's still caught up on the perfect interest, but there is none. Um, Facebook ads is all about unique creatives more so than interests. You know, interests, there's an abundance of them. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, um, oh, sorry, I made a mistake there. Um, so what you want to do is you want to use YouTube, Vimeo, Google, other drop shipping stores, AliExpress videos, private suppliers. I've had my private suppliers on Skype or uh, WeChat or whatever. Email me, send me a link for a, a video just so I can try and uh, use that as unique marketing material. Um, <clears throat> it's important you want to try and make it seem like it's... I don't know, like um, one of those large pages like VT or um, Tasty or something where they make it feel really comfortable. And it's it's marketing without being pushy marketing. Okay, because if you're not pushy marketing and it makes it feel comfortable and people desire it, um, 
you're going to get higher playthroughs you're going to get which subsequently leads to higher click throughs lower cpms and lower cpcs and then subsequently you should expect a higher roas okay so that's that's what you want to really try and focus on um doesn't have to be perfect but it's something that you just want to keep in your mind rather than being like here buy my product you know you want to explain the product really warm them up and qualify your traffic by doing that means that you're going to get higher conversion rates on your site because the people are already you know they know what the product is know what to expect type thing um videos that have captions or subtitles just like with this youtube video that you're watching um i add subtitles like you know most others because a lot of people will just watch it without actually listening to the audio for instance they're in the workplace um, and so subtitles and that are really really handy just for that as well as it explains the product so you can use it <clears throat> to help with both situations at the same time just requires a little bit of work but not much when I show you when I show you how to do that you like this piece of pie uh, make sure your videos are optimized for placements being Facebook and Instagram newsfeed and Facebook and Instagram stories and that includes messenger stories too the messenger is not as popular um, Facebook have recently updated it so that stories now has <clears throat> sorry has 120 seconds um, of time that we can actually use okay for promoted material um, however you probably don't want to go past 30 to 60 seconds okay now I also like to add if you do have other placements other placements that are popular are um, marketplace instant articles and audience network I recommend finding the dimensions for them um, if you do have that and try and optimize it for it as well okay and when you make your ad you can preview it send it to your mobile phone and actually see how it looks as well okay so I recommend doing that especially if you've got a winning product just to do a quick test Okay, so the ratio that Facebook recommend, um, and this is what I use, 16 by 9 ratio, 19 by 20, which is rectangle, um, and also 1080 by 1080 square. So the reason we do that is if it's rectangle, the phone will be held sideways. If it's, um, uh, if it's upwards, it's going to be likely to be square. With stories, we can, uh, we can also try and make it so it's rectangle for when it's upwards as well because most people on phones they will scroll and they're going to be holding their phone upright rather than sideways or vertically rather than horizontally so what you want to do is you want to try and make two creatives um pretty much of the same um and uh see which which can do better um i found that uh, 1080 by 1080 and 1920 by 1080 work quite well. Facebook will take the ratio down to make sure it fits the mobile dimensions. Um, so it's important as well that we talk about for remarketing. So Facebook and Instagram stories 9 by 16 or 1080 by 1920. Again, that's vertical. Okay, optimized for mobile. Both scale accordingly, vertical. Um, and just make sure to include a swipe up option in Camtasia that's really easy like I'll show you how how I sort of do it um, it's important I also like to note that stories does best for remarketing not as much for cold traffic most of your sales will start um, always still come from your news feeds but stories is definitely picking up so that's why you want to keep stories in mind so for cold traffic 30 to 60 seconds remarketing 30 to 60 seconds now I did forget to add here as well um, as well my apologies is you want two to four creatives in your ad set with a different star being three five seconds okay so what that means is you want at least two no more than four especially if you're spending like if you've got five ad sets and you're spending $20, $25 a day, you don't want to divvy up your budget too much. Facebook will optimize. But basically, you want two to four creatives, 30 to 60 seconds long, with the first five seconds being different. So you could use the same video and just get different segments at the beginning. The first five seconds, uh, I say five seconds and not three, because Facebook um, pretty much defined three seconds as if you think about it, you're scrolling, okay, you're scrolling past it, there's about one to two seconds of you just scrolling past the video, and then the third second is they might watch it for a split second, and it doesn't really count as a view in many regards, 
obviously we're still paying for it because it's an impression. So by five seconds, they've watched a bit of it. All right, and it's, that's your hook. Okay, it's your hook. <clears throat> all right, so you want two to four creatives um, and just choose, as I said, like you'll find a heap of videos, just find something with five seconds. That can be the hook, it doesn't need a caption. The other parts can all have the captions. It's as easy as pie. The first five seconds is just to try and get as much play through as possible. <clears throat> You need to have your logo, so obviously you should, this is why I said in the last video that you should have a logo, helps to uh, further brand your video. So you have your logo stamped on the video. We're gonna have a watermark, stop others from stealing it as well, because logos I can easily just put something over the top and make it my own, I've done that many a times. Um, a strong call to action at the end. You know, it's really important um, that you have a call to action, you know. Uh, we like to think that people are incredibly intelligent, which most people are, but the reality is there's a lot that, that they're incredibly intelligent, but they, they just may not do it. So give them a strong call to action, you know, shop now 50% off here at blah. Um, a pro tip, um, that I just wanted to add is, uh, client testimonials, reviews are amazing for remarketing. You can watch that video there on some tips. If you want more it's in my course, go and get it. Moving past that. Um, examples of videos using this strategy. So I wanted to give you uh, a bit of a benchmark on something that you can sort of use. And this is a branded product, keep that in mind. But I wanted to show you what they did right. Um, the video has captions, it solves a problem, it contains their brand logo on it, showing customers using the product. What they did wrong was there is no strong call to action. The video isn't optimized for that place. It sort of is somewhat, but I find 1920 by 1080, I prefer that. Uh, for Facebook newsfeed, uh, for desktop anyways. Um, and again, no captions stating where to buy. So, I mean, that sort of relates to the same thing. But if we have a look, here's the video. So this is the product here. Definitely it'll have ripoffs and stuff um, at some point. But you can see basically all it's trying to do is uh, make it... <coughs> Pardon me. Um... You know, it's engaging, it's interesting, shows how the product works. Um, packaging shows the unpackaging of the product. People love that, that is very good. It's got the captions, it's got the source. Um, it's basically, it's converting water into some form of flavored water, whatever that may be. Um, and you can see there like it's in use, okay? So so that's, that's basically what you wanna use there as an example. Um, to, to sort of understand that. So I just wanted to give you that to sort of see. You can see also, I should add in the video, that with the captions, see how they have different colors for the parts that you're trying to emphasize on. So by using a same consistent color scheme um, and then using different colors for the parts you want to emphasize on, really hammers at home. If, if you're watching this now, then it's highly likely that as I say this, that you're actually looking at it and you look at the text and your eyes are drawn to the yellow, aren't they? Because everything else is pretty much black and white. Mostly black and white, very light colors, and then the yellow really sticks out. Okay, so it, um, captions really help with that. All right, so that explains that. Now, this is the product that I'll be using to record in Camtasia. Um, so I just wanted to give you this so that you understand. So this is the product page here. Um, I believe they're called, a lot of people, I've seen these a ton, indestructible shoes or whatever, um, work shoes, whatever, that's a poor name, but I would call it, you know, something a bit more energetic. Um, but anyway, so we can see here that this is the product that I'll be using. This is the page I found. Um, and this is the video that I found. So I went on, um, I went on YouTube and found this. I also 100% want to recommend to people, do not use videos uh, from people that are, you know, have a verified page, have 100,000 views. I personally don't use a video that has more than like five, 10,000 views. It just because of copyright infringement, you just don't want to go there. Um, and I just don't recommend it. We are technically using someone else's video. So keep that in mind. All right, and it's also a really good product research tool. Um, so the music that I'll be using, I just downloaded from Facebook is Beautiful Sunrise. For those wondering, it's inspirational music and it felt to me as I uh, downloaded it that it would fit this. Okay, so let's go into how to actually make this video and how to make it a high converting one.
All right, so I'm in Camtasia here, and I've just got my resources, as I said, downloaded from um, J Downloader. We can see here, this is the video, this is the thumbnail that come with it. Okay, so, it, as I said, it just downloads the thumbnail, that's why I really, really find it quite useful. All right, so, anyway, so, first thing I want to do is I put it, I, this is just how I do it, I'm going to reduce the music to zero, because right now, if I play this, yeah, Rihanna, so, hopefully I won't get this video demonetized anyway but basically if uh, we just reduce that to zero and I'm just gonna reduce that there all right and I'm just gonna let that play now the next part is we want to put the music now you can put this wherever I'm just showing you for the example of this case study all right, and if we scroll back in this is why I use Camtasia I'm by far not a good video editor I just thought this music could work well, I could be wrong, but you can see how I've already started to make it unique. It just gave me that vibe, let me know if you agree. <laughs> anyway, so, now what we want to do is the first thing <clears throat> we're going to do is we want to remove the this up the top here. Now it is a bit of a pain, um, The one, if you can find ones with without it, then that's even better. If not, that's fine. With Camtasia we can... So you can either crop it out, you can try and crop it, but you'd have to crop part of the video. And if we have a look... Yeah, we can actually do that in this case. So if we actually crop this out entirely, all right, and then we go back, all right, and then we have to stretch it. So we don't actually need that call out. So now we've essentially... So if we have a look... Lovely. So you, you can't do it for all videos, oh, um, but obviously we're going to take out the end. Whoops. Sorry. I hate when I do that. Alright, and so now we've already started to make the video ours. Alright, lovely. So we've now already started to trim it and it's starting to take shape. And there wasn't much to it. The next part we want to do is again your logo. It can be up the top right or top left. So let's just call it your logo. All right. So, and all we want to do is have it all the way across. So now we're branding it as our own, similar to what they did. Um, it's just entirely up to you top right, top left. That's generally where I do it. Um, on top of this, you want to make a copy of it as well. All right. Lovely. Make sure it aligns. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it much larger. Okay, and we're going to increase the text size. And we're going to decrease the opacity. Uh, seems good. Alright, and... I like to make it look nice. It's just me. Anyway, and so you put your store name. So www.yourstore.com all right, and so the whole way through, you, I might change the opacity a little bit to make it a little bit stronger. Oh, sorry. Um, there we go, something like that. Usually around 50% does it. But basically now we have a video that, you know, someone would, pr oh, I'll turn it down a bit actually, would struggle to, but it's really hard because if someone else uses this as a winning creative, well, then they're going to see your store info on there. Okay, so branding it as your own. Simple as that. I'm just going to do a quick save. All right, so now we're up to the captions. All right, so the captions are, um, you know, they're, they're pretty easy. Um, there's a number of ways you can go about doing it. Um, that's I like in Camtasia. So what we're going to do is we're going to get one of these. Um, let me just get to a point where um, I'm seeing the product. Alright, so here. So probably this isn't the best video to use in this example, because what you're wanting to try and do is, you know, like right now that's showing start, but I like I find it easier when you know you get to a point where it's like well showing it in action. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the outline and that so that now, whoops, I didn't want it as grey. One of this white and white. I'm gonna get rid of the text. So what we're doing here is we're setting up a template of how we want our 
captions to be. So you can either have that as just plain text that goes in and out, or you can do it my way. It's entirely up to you. Yeah, so that's not, okay, that's better. So let's, let's do that. Um, now captions work best down sort of the bottom middle if you can. So that's, in this case, um, we'll do it like this just to show you how it works. But if it was me, I would just have it pure text because then it doesn't abstract the image as much. I'm going to change the opacity. Okay, and change that to the same. All right, cool. So now we have this. Lovely. Now we need to put text over the top. So what we, oh, sorry. I hate when I do that, stupid markers. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the template for our text and, and how it's going to present. Um, now, if you do have the font on your machine, I use, okay, I forgot what it's called. It's a very bold font. I've forgotten the name. It's really easy to read. I'm sorry, I have forgotten the font, so... Let's just use Arial Black in this case. Um, but usually thicker fonts work better. So um, in this case is, um, so um, not even cards can ruin these shoes. Sorry, no. So you want to try and think for a moment of how to word it. So I'm just trying to think, um, uh, keep your feet safe even from vehicles okay that's just off the top of my head i haven't had a huge amount of time to think about it but all right but let's make this a little bit larger for this and let's move this back there all right so what we're going to do is i like to do it like that um and i'm going to decrease the size so it fits nicely probably a little bit smaller Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the text black. All right, and um, I'll make it bold. All right, wonderful. So that looks pretty good. But there's, if you want to have a look at all the different texts, there we go. So that sort of stands out a bit more nicely now. Um, okay, so we now have that. But on top of this, we also want um, to have a behavior because right now it's just going to be like this, which works, but not hugely. But before we do that, I forgot to mention, we want to, like in that other video, change the text of the most important parts. Um, so feet safe. So um, I'm going to change that text to green. Okay. So if I was to choose green in this case, that would be the same for every every part that I'm emphasizing on throughout the video. Okay, so now I have that put together as well. So the next part is you can use a num any of these um, and you can see how it can fly in, it can pop up. Most of them use um, sliding. So what you do in Camtasia is you, you do that. So see how now we're going to see, but see the text doesn't apply it. So what you can do is um, you can copy the effects and no, sorry. No, we're going to change something first. So it's not a bad length, but I'm going to make it a little bit faster. But before we do, we don't want to make it fade. We want to leave it as none. And we want to make the speed in a little bit faster. I usually make it about 92% and 92%. Okay, cool. So if we have a look, all right, so it just comes in faster and it leaves faster. So now what we can do is we can copy the effects and we can paste the effects. So if we now watch this, so I've probably made that a bit long because it doesn't correlate. So what I'm going to do is I will reduce their length. So let's have a look now. So 
See, that works well. And then straight into the next one, you know, heavy duty shoes um, when out on the field or something like that, okay? So um, what you can then do, what I normally do is I group them, okay? So now I have a template, okay? So now all I need to do is I just copy it and I'll, let's go to the next one. So um, if we, let's say, put it here, um, heavy jute, um, it's a bit of a tough one in terms of, um, unbreak, breakable shoes in, in construction sites. Okay. So you can see how it does take a little bit of, um, see, and that's the problem with grouping them. Okay. So sometimes you're going to have to just ungroup then, and then we have to change the sizing. Oops, sorry. Got them both selected. So basically it's just a little bit of fidgeting. Um, you do want to try and keep it the same. So I've made a bit of a boo-boo again. Um, come on. I hate how... If you ever have these markers, they're really annoying. I've never used them. Um, so if we make that a bit larger, and then we can make this a bit larger. Not that large though. Okay, and again, you know, like, I'm just going to use the same color scheme. You just change it, green. I I should say I mainly group it after I've done, but either way, you just copy and paste, and you're done. But if we were to take out now, just to show you my point, like, see, the green and black wouldn't work as well, but if we... <clears throat> um change the text all to white okay that doesn't really help either but basically you want to watch the video and choose a color that that would stand out the most like it would stand out more up there it's just because of the type of video they're all slightly different but that's basically what you want to do um, for your captions all right so then lastly at the sort of end of your video all right you can see how we've got this so working well um, again what we want to do is we want to copy ungroup uh, get yours now 50% off uh, and we're just going to reduce the size uh, and I'm going to make that green And I might even, to be a bit different, make that centerized to it. There we go. Get yours now 50% off. We're going to make it a bit shorter though. And then we're going to copy it. Paste it. Shop. Oops. Shop now at www. You don't need to put the www. So it's up to you, but you can just put yourstore.com. All right, and there we go. Use the same color scheme again. And so now we have, for what it's worth, a pretty consistent video that, you know, it, your goal is with the captions to explain the product um, and, and show its benefits of why they use it. In the beginning, you want to use different, um, you want to try and have multiple different starts in the video so i would um I, I what i normally do is i make five different projects let's say four or five and um based on the first one so i have my template for the whole video and then like the first five seconds i will click here you can click s split it and then i'll delete that part and I can just get some other clips or something to try and see how that goes and fit it into that five seconds. Okay, and it doesn't have to be related 100% to this video. It can, it can be, be whatever, be creative about it. But so now you should know how to make high converting videos anyway. 
That concludes today's video on how to make high converting Facebook ads in 2019 step by step. Get the slides down below for free. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, hit the notification bells for updates straight away and comment crush it down below to go in the chance to win a 30 minute call with myself announced in the next video. The winner of last video is in the description and the pinned comments. So congratulations, get in touch with me, ricky at rickyhayes.co for us to arrange our call together, okay? I hope you did enjoy today's content. I really wanna know what you guys want to see, more product research tools, more Facebook ad scaling. What would you like to see? Now I should also add as well, I've been working hard on my calculator to help you all. There's a major update coming along. If you have already purchased it, you'll get that for free. If you haven't, then I would suggest getting in on it. I am gonna be increasing the price. It has taken quite a bit of work. Additionally, my course now has over 100 videos. I cannot believe it. 100 videos and still counting. I've got plenty more content to add there. I'm really actually quite proud of it. Stay tuned for a big surprise on what's going to be happening with my course that I'm sure many of you are going to want, love, and enjoy because I am very proud of that course. Okay, guys? Now, again, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed it. Tell me what you like about today's video. Tell me what you want to see in the future and comment crush it to go on the chance to win. Okay, guys, it's as simple as that. The more you give me, the more I give you back. It works hand in hand. So don't forget to click those links. Have a lovely day. Take care and goodbye.